And for our last story tonight, let's talk about the moon. It is rusting. Yes, you heard that right. In the early 2000s, India's Chandrayaan-1 mission probed the moon. The space probe sent back data, and based on it, in the year 2020, scientists found the presence of rust on the lunar surface. But this was strange, because the moon doesn't have oxygen or liquid water, the two things needed to make rust. Since then, this rusty mystery has puzzled researchers. But now they seem to have the answers, and scientists say it is the Earth's fault that the moon is rusting. Here's a report. It is a large ball of rock with mountains, huge craters caused by asteroid impacts, and flat plains ironically known as seas. We are talking about the moon. It is about a quarter of the size of Earth, and we see it almost every day as it appears in the night sky. Yet, we know so little about this object that orbits our planet. Year after year, scientists have launched missions to study it. We have done everything from sending tortoises to the moon to walking on the lunar surface ourselves. One such critical mission was India's Chandrayaan-1. It was launched in 2008 to orbit the moon, and it sent back crucial data. Scientists have been studying it ever since. In 2020, the data showcased something fascinating. Scientists realized that the moon was rusting. Even though, surprised, it shouldn't be. And technically, because it can't. To understand this, let's go back to science that you probably learned in primary school. Rust happens when iron meets water and oxygen. Water acts as a catalyst. It enables the iron and oxygen molecules to react, and they form a particular type of iron oxide, which is scientifically known as hematite, or, more simply, as rust. We see this with our windows, pillars, or even utensils made of iron. It is a common phenomenon on Earth but we also see this in space. Take Mars, for instance, the red giant. It appears red because millions of years ago, the planet had rivers of liquid water. It also had a denser atmosphere and iron-rich rocks. This allowed oxygen and water to react with it and form rust, giving the so-called red planet its devilish charm. But, do you see the problem here? Yes, there is plenty of iron on the moon. It is inside the moon rocks, but technically they should be free of rust because the moon doesn't have oxygen or liquid water. Only frozen water in the form of polar ice. So why is the moon rusting? This question has boggled scientists for years but now they seem to have the answer, and they are blaming Earth. Here's what happens. We know that the moon revolves around Earth, while Earth revolves around the sun. So most of the time, both Earth and the moon are bathed in a stream of charged particles. These particles emanate from the sun. But for around five days each month, this changes. Earth passes between the sun and the moon. So Earth blocks most of the flood of solar particles. They don't reach the moon. Instead, Earth's particles find their place in the sun. Particles that are part of Earth's atmosphere blow into space. This is known as Earth wind. So while Earth stands between the sun and the moon, the lunar surface is exposed mainly to earthly particles. Oxygen particles blow from Earth to the moon. Then they interact with the polar ice, and rust forms on the moon in its polar regions. It is then distributed elsewhere on the surface of the moon. But how does that happen? Scientists don't know yet. It's still a mystery. But one thing is clear. There is a deep interconnection between Earth and the moon. Even if their interactions have gotten a little rusty.
first post now available in nine languages on YouTube. English. French. Le FMI. German. Hindi. Indonesian. Italian. Japanese. Portuguese. Spanish. Go to settings. Click on audio track and select the language of your choice. Be the first to know what's happening around you in your first language. First post.